Hi everybody. So today I'm going to share with you another Bible review, but before we get started, I would like to remind you to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you click that little bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a new video. That not only helps the channel to grow, but it also lets me know that you want me to continue doing these Bible review videos. So today we're going to be looking at a Bible from the Artisan Collection, and this one is going to be the NASB. So it's going to be the 95 edition of the text. Comes in a really pretty two-piece box. Anytime you see that lay flat symbol there, that's going to tell you that this is going to be a sewn binding. So I'll hold that right there in case you'd like to pause and read that top section. It talks about how this Bible captures the elegance of nature. And then we'll drop down to our features. So I'll point out just a few of them. So it's going to be, again, the 95 edition of the text. We're going to have lined wide margins, double column layout. It's going to have a thick cream colored paper, which will be great for note taking and any type of artwork. It is red letter. There's two ribbons. This one does have a line match text, so that really cuts down on the ghosting. And then we've got an eight point font. There's an example of how the text is going to look. This one is the almond floral in the leather soft. There's our ISBN number. This one does retail for $49.99, but you can get this one for less online. And as always, I will have links in the description box. If you don't like this color, you can also get this one in sage as well. This Bible here measures out at eight and three eighths inches tall, six and seven eighths inches wide, and it's right between an inch and an eighth to an inch and a quarter. So we've got nice head and tail bands. We've got nicely done gold gilding. This one is perimeter stitched all the way around the perimeter. And then we've got all this floral artwork on there that just looks really pretty. You can see when I get you up close that it's got a nice texture. So to me, that just reminds me of the texture of a canvas. Then we've got Holy Bible on the spine. We've got Holy Bible. NASB and Zondervan. Then on the back, we've got Leather Soft and the ISBN number, and then some more of that artwork on there. So I'll show you this one against the other one. And then the NIV editions do look a little bit different. So depending on what style you like, where this one just has a little bit on the back. So there are different options for you. So this one is going to have a paper paste down liner and then just a real simple this Bible belongs to presentation page. Then we've got our reflection page. So this one says this page invites you to pause, breathe and reflect. And then we do have a scripture down on the bottom. And then on the back side, it says God's faithfulness to me. And then below that, it says a record of God's faithfulness in my life. So then it's got several lines for you to use that space to jot down some of the different things for that. So that serves as a nice reminder when you open up your Bible before you start to read. You can see some of God's faithfulness in your life. So that I really like. It does have another scripture down on the bottom. And then we get into our title pages. I really like the type of font that they use in these as well as the floral artwork. I think that looks really nice. So again, this is going to be the 1995 edition of the text. This one was printed in China. So I'll have the contents page. We do have the foreword. So that's going to have the scriptural promise as well as the fourfold aim of the Lockman Foundation. Then we've got the preface as well as the principles of translation. An explanation of the general format. And then the abbreviations and special markings. Then we get right in to the Old Testament. I really like the way that they do the artwork in here. So if you were going to plan on doing artwork and different notes in here, I would maybe use these front few pages to test out your different pens. And we'll get right in to the text. So we've got a double column layout. Each one of the books is going to have some artwork next to it, any of the translation type notes. We're going to be along the bottoms of the pages. Here we can see in the gutter there some of the stitching. So nice sewn binding. Now this color of paper 
this cream color under certain lights you will get a little bit of that glow in the gutter but it is really easy on the eyes in low light situations so we're going to have a couple different types of the artwork so there's one style there and i'll get you a shot of the others now the font on this one here it's going to be an eight point font and then you can see that this is going to be in a verse by verse then we've got our lined margins the line margins are going to be an inch and a half if we measure just the line if we measure from the edge of the text to the edge of the page then that's going to be two inches we will have two ribbon markers we'll get back here and see the first one so the first one is in a little bit brighter of a gold there's two different colors it is just a single sided satin also get you a close-up on the Psalms here now this one is line matched but anytime that you're in the poetic sections wherever there's not any text you're gonna get a lot of that ghosting one way to reduce that is a super easy trick if you're using a piece of black paper behind the page you can see that that pretty much got rid of all of it so we'll get back to the New Testament Yeah, this is just a really pretty Bible and each one of the books when a new book starts you're going to have some artwork next to the name of the book and then each book starts on a new page we'll get back here and see our second ribbon which is going to be a little bit darker of a gold where the other one's a little brighter so again just single-sided satin but it is really nice to have one for the Old Testament and one for the New. This one is also red letter. So I'll get you a close up of that. It's a really nice shade of red. We'll get back to the back of the Bible. We'll see that it is red letter all the way through to the end of Revelation. Now in the NASB, it does not have any other features in the back where the NIV has the table of weights and measures. But you'll find that as you're reading the NASB, if there's something for weights and measures, you're going to see that along the bottom of the page. So we will have a few pages for notes. The NASB only has a few of them where the NIV version has quite a few more. But with all this wide margin space, you're going to have tons of space for notes. Then we get back to the back. We've got a note regarding the type, which is done by 2K Denmark. And then we just get back to the back of the Bible. But just a really pretty note-taking edition of the NASB. So really just a beautifully done Bible. And again, you can also get it in the sage color, which I will link at the end of this video. I did already review that one. So here again is the box. This one is the almond floral. There's the ISBN number. And I will link this one as well as that sage one down in the description box. And also the NIV editions as well. Alright. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.